Every few minutes, a military ambulance pulls up to the entrance of Barzilai Hospital, unloads a wounded soldier, and races back to the front. In the past two weeks of fighting, dozens of wounded soldiers have been treated here. The city of Ashkelon has been paralyzed by rocket attacks every day. The beach here is deserted. Longtime residents say it's a tough time for them. It's not a great situation. Sirens, rockets landing, explosions. So we sit here. My daughter came with her husband and four children from France for a vacation, and they're stuck in the house all day. I'm afraid to even let them come down here to the beach since there's nowhere to go if a rocket falls. Normally, this beach is so crowded you can't move, Kadosh says. At the nearby marina, it's the same, although the office is open for the 20 people who actually live on their boats. The only people around are a pair of Norwegian tourists. I came to Israel yesterday. I wanted to uh, be in this country. It's empty. It's, not, it's nothing here. And uh, it seems uh, a little bit sad, I think. We have been in a shelter twice already. It's scary. And uh, I must say that I'm thinking about uh, the people who is living with it, this every day. Many residents say they're grateful for the Iron Dome, Israel's U.S.-funded anti-missile system that has shot down most of the rockets headed for populated areas. I don't think anybody wants to really think about how life in Ashkelon, or really anywhere in Israel, even the center of Israel, areas near Jerusalem, how these areas would look without Iron Dome. This is a system that saves lives, protects homes, protects businesses, and at the end really protects normal everyday life in Israel. It's a life-saving system. And uh, I want to thank uh, to Amir Peretz to say okay to, to, to this uh, Iron Dome. Because if he not... Uh, uh, make a pressure to bring this to the army, I don't know what, uh, it will be a, a chaos. Barr did his army service in the Golani unit, which has had the most casualties during this round of fighting. As efforts for a ceasefire gather steam, Barr and others say it would be a mistake for Israel to leave Gaza before the tunnels that run underground into Israel are completely destroyed. Many Israeli politicians agree. We have our goals in this operation, which is demilitarization of, of Gaza, which getting rid of the, the, uh, uh, the tunnels uh, and, and making sure the missiles won't be fired at the people of Israel, like every other nation would do. They say Israel continues to have international support for the fight against Hamas. Finally, they understood they, and they know that Hamas is a terror organization, and it was uh, recognized as a terror organization in uh, the U.S. and some other countries as well, years ago. But they understood finally that you cannot deal with Hamas, that Hamas is, um, that there is double standard, of course, looking at the Hamas and at Israel, and that they had to support us because no country can accept shooting at its citizens without doing anything. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Ashkelon.